We spend a lot of time on this show talking about the effects that the climate has on our homes. That weather is changing. When you think about it, the summers are getting hotter and drier, and some of those winters are getting colder and wetter. And our poor old homes, well, the roofs cop a real battering. So it's no wonder that our heating and cooling systems cop a real battering over a 12 month period. Well, this is pretty much a classic Australian house. This has got a tiled roof. Inside that roof cavity, there is probably a heating and a cooling system. There'll be insulation, and no doubt a bit of junk stored in there as well. Now in summer, well, that roof cavity is gonna heat up to around 60, 65, even 70 degrees Celsius. And then you've got your poor air conditioning units, which are trying to pump crisp, cool air to your living spaces through poorly insulated duct inside all that heat. It makes no sense at all. Well, then your air conditioners are running at their least efficient, and ultimately, you're the one that's paying for this through rising electricity bills. Here he is again, Dono. How you doing, well, mate? Good to see you. Now, the last time we had this on our show, Australia went absolutely crazy for it. We were inundated with messages. And people are starting to notice just how much moisture they're pumping through their house, from kettles, showers. People don't realise the hot air that you're pulling out from your bathroom just goes into your roof cavity. And so you've got to get rid of that because we're finding problems with mould and condensation inside the roof cavity. It's not just summer. Winter, you need to get that stale damp air out as well and fresh air in, don't you? That's it. And with the Edmunds IQ air system, it picks up the humidity and the temperature. So it's got that year round. It's an intelligent yeah. unit, much like yourself, Jono. Should we jump up on the roof and have a look? Absolutely, oh, let's go. Harnesses. Parachuting, don't know what I said. <laughs> nice big new shiny one. Here we go, mate. Nice freshy. Uh, the moldable flashings. You can just sit that into your tiles. It works on every roof. Different types of uh, tile or corrugated metal deck. I know a lot of people ask me about what the difference between this and just a normal old-fashioned whirly bird on the roof is. That's your answer. That's a what makes it smart, really. It's the Edmunds Air IQ. And what does that do exactly? Now this little baby here, this will pick up the humidity and the temperature. So through winter when your range hood and your bathroom is pumping all that hot, moist air in the roof, this picks it up, flushes it all out. All the sensors are inside there. The sensors are inside your roof. So what that probably what helps make it a little bit more energy efficient as well. What do you reckon it cost to run? About 30, 35 bucks a year? Yeah, if that. So cheap, isn't it? It's, it's amazing. The thing is about this in summer, the roof cavity is gonna get up to 66, 70 degrees inside there. And if you've got the ducted AC units, well, you can just imagine how hard those units are having to work to pump the cool air through that um, roof cavity. It's just kind of mindless inefficiency of energy isn't it really it's huge yeah and it just the relief it gives your air cons um, is they're going to last longer they're going to run better Cheaper. Cheaper. Done. it's just a no-brainer so that's it mate job done that's it so you've got to go inside now plug that into the powerpoint inside yeah. the roof so that's the only thing really isn't it if you've got to get a spark here to put a powerpoint in if there isn't one already correct yeah apart from that it's all nice and straightforward and it's all set and forget now so we don't need to worry about turning it on and off no, no, that little smart box, the Edmunds Air IQ, that'll pick up your humidity, your temperature, so it's all done, don't need to worry about it. You know, I can't stress enough about the horror stories I've seen on my travels relating to condensation and mould and mildew in the house, even just a little bit. You know, if you're wondering, do your search, just have a bit of a Google of what the triggers of asthma can be. Do some research into what the dangers to your respiratory system and occur from things like mould and do some research to find out what happens to your home if you don't keep that mould and mildew and condensation under control. Well, it's definitely a good time of year to put one of these on your roof, isn't it? It really is. You know, you've got winter with all the condensation being brought into your house from your mm -hmm. showers and your kettles. And in summer, of course, it's going to get over 60, 65, sometimes 70 degrees into your roof cavity. And that is the sort of air you need to be getting out of your house. Well, if you want to find out a little bit more information about the dangers of mould and condensation in your home, these guys have a really informative website. You can also find out where to buy these from as well. Just jump onto edmunds.com.au. Well, it's been good, mate. See you well, again next year. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be back with plenty more of Healthy Homes after the break.